Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome. Thank you for joining us. Uh, if you could please come in and take your seats, we'd appreciate it so we can get started now. Uh, please, uh, as a reminder, uh, I ask that you mute your cell phones for the duration of our time together, or, or perhaps turn them off, but at the very least, please mute them uh, so we can go ahead without any interruptions. The Sidor we have in here is our Shabbat Sidor, but uh, thankfully we have the weekday afternoon and evening services in it. So even though it says Shabbat, that's the Sidor we'll be using. You can open it up now to page 289, page 289 for Mincha, the afternoon service. Ashrei Yoshrei Betecha, od yehalleluhu chasela, shrei ham shkachalo, shrei ham kolei hazgeot. We continue now with Chatzik on page 290, followed by the Amidah, which will begin together on 291 through 293. After that, we'll continue silently from 294 until the conclusion. Please rise. Yit gadal vid kerash shimerabaha. Velma di brachit evim le fort of a high for a book on the height, whole bait is a galavis one karihiv, the meru who amen, ye hesh merabam vorach, elam amaya, yit barach, vish tabach, vi par vit from mamina se vit adar vit alevitol, shmerikurish abri who, the lamik of a hat of a shirat, Krishko hat of a nekamat, and a miran beama, the meru who amen. Baruch Ata Adonai, Elohim Le'avotenu, Elohim Abraham, Elohim Yitzchak, Elohim Yaakov, Elohim Sarah, Elohim Rika, Elohim Rechem, Elohim Le'ah, Ha'el Agadol, Agibor Venora, El El Yohon, Gomel Chasedim Tovim Vekone HaKohol, Vezocher Chase Avot, Mevi Goel, Ifne Venehem, Leman Shemo Be'ahavah, Melech Ozer Ufkeru Moshia Magehen, Baruch Ata Adonai Magen Abraham Ufoket Saraha Atagi Bola Lamorai Mechaye Meti Matarabloshia Mashi Baruach Umorid Hagashem Mecha Kelchaim Bechesed Mechaye Meti Marahim Rabihim Samech Noflim Verofe Holim Matir Asurihim Mechayem Emonashalishina Fahar Mihamoha Bagi Brot Umi Domelach Melch Mimit Hae Umatsmech Shuaha Kadosh <laughs>
If you are still reciting Amida, please proceed at your own pace while our service continues on page 300. Yid Gadal, Vid Gadash, Shimrabaha, Vyama di Brahit, Vimich Makhati Bahayakon, Vimukhan of Khaid, Hobbe, Israel, Bagravis Makari, Vimeru, Amen, Yehe, Shmerabam Brah, Elama Meamaya, Yid Barah, Vishtabah, Vipar, Vitrama Menese, Vitadar, Vital Jalash, Medicus, Abri, who, Elami Kobiat, Vishrat, Tushbah, and Hamata, Miram Yama, Vibru, Amen, Tid Gabat, Sotan of Botan, who is Sakan of Hon, Vishma, Vibru, Amen. Esh samara ba min shmai vachim ben vachoisa vimro amen. Ose shalom vimro ma ku yase shalom alin va ku yisrael vimeru hu amen. We continue together on page three o one. Aleinu l'shabeach la dohon hakol la ted kedula liotzeher breshit shelo asanu ki goyeh aratzot velo samanu ki mishpachot adama. Shelo sam chelkenu kahem, vegohor aleinu kechol hamonam, vanach nu korim, nishnatarim, umodim, lifne melech machem lachim, hakatosh baruchu. Shehru teshmai vyasos machu. Agatu betor atecha, Adonaiim loch lela hamva ed, Bene emar, Vehaya Adonai, Lemelecha kol haaretz, Bayom hahu, Bayom hahu, Ie Adonai echad, Ushemo ho, Ushemo ho, Ushemo echad. Today has been the 19th day of Adar Sheni, on which we've commemorated the art sites of Elke Geller, Roberta Goldman, Morris Gordon, Gershon Kext, Gertrude Levy, Leah Navi, Shahab Rastigar, and Heshmat Fahimian Yasian. And tonight begins the 20th day of Adar Sheni, on which we will commemorate the art sites of Jack Genser, Molly Goldstein, Emmanuel Haruni, Anne Kahan, Mali Holos, Rose Leventhal, Jerome Malaski, Chaim Simantob, and Jacob Stigman. In addition, of course, we are in mourning this evening for Younes Nazarian of blessed memory. Uh, we keep all of those in mind, along with all others who we may be mourning or whose yard sites we may be commemorating this evening as we turn to page 302 for Kaddish Atom. Mourners Kaddish, page 302. Yit Kadal, Vid Kadash, Sheme Rabba, Bealma, Diverach, Hirute, Viamlich, Mahute, Behayehon, Uv Yomehon, Uv Haye, the whole Beit Israel, Baagala, Vizman Kari, Vimeru, Amen. Yehe, Sheme Rabba, Mevorach, Leolam, Leome Omaya. Yit Barach, Vish Tabach, Vit Paar, Vit Romam, Vit Nase. Vit Hadar, Vit Ale, Vit Halal, Shme, de Kudasha, Berichu, Leella, Minko, Virhata, Vishirata, Tush Behata, Venehemata, Damiran, Bealma, Vimeru, Amen. Yehe, Shlama, Rabba, Min Shmaya, Vehaim, Alenu, Vako, Israel, Vimeru, Amen. O Se Shalom, Vimroma, Uya Se Shalom. Alinu ve'akho Yisrael v'imeru. Amen. We remain standing now as we turn back to page 264, page 264, to begin the Arvid service. We'll be led by Rabbi Guzik. Vehu rachum yecha b'rabom v'lo yashchit v'hir ba'al ha'ashiv apov l'yir kocham ato Adonai o'shia ha'melech yaneinu v'yom koreinu Barhu et Adonai Hambora. Adonai Hambora Hulame. Baruch Adonai Hambora Leolam Vaed. Please be seated. Baruch Adonai Hambora Hulame. 
Elchai v'kayam tamidim loch aleinu liolam va'ed baruch ata Adonai hamari v'aravim. Ve'avarcha al tesem imenu liolamim baruch ata Adonai ohev amol Yisrael. Amen. Page 265. Shema Yisrael. Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad. Ve'ahavta et Adonai Elohecha, v'chol levavcha u'v'chol nafshecha u'v'chol meodecha, v'hayu harvarim ha'ele, asher anochi mitzavecha hayom alevavecha, Vishinan tam lava necha vidi bar tabam, Vishiv de chava ve decha, who left de chava derech, who vishoch becha, who kumecha, who kshartam le oot al yadecha, the hayula tota fot, bene necha, uchtab tam, o mezuzot, be decha, who visharecha. Continue silently, page 266. Adonai Eloichem Emet. We continue in the middle of page 267. Ushmort Satan, Uvo Inu Lechaim Ushalom Yetaviad Olam, Baruch Ata Adonai, Shomer Mo Yisrael Lad. Page 268. Baruch Adonai Lam, Amen, the Amen, Baruch Adonai Mitzion, Shochen Yushalayim, Hallelujah. Baruch Ata Adonai Hamelech Bifodo Tamidim Loch Alenu Leolam Vaed Valkoma Asav. We continue on the bottom of page 269 with Chatzik Kaddish, followed by the silent Amidah, which will begin on page 270. Please rise. <laughs> 
Amen. <laughs> Say shalom bim roma, huya ase shalom aleinu, ve'al ko Yisrael, ve'imru, v'imru, amen. Oh, say shalom bim roma, huya ase shalom aleinu, Ve'al ko Yisrael, ve'imru, v'imru, amen. We remain standing and continue on page 280. Yitgadal v'ikara shemei rabba, ve'al ma divra kirute v'yam lich malchute, v'chayechon u'vyom echon u'chayrecho v'yisrael, v'aglav izman kari v'imru, Amen. Yehesh me rabba mevarach lelamu me amaya. Yit barach v'yishtach v'yit pa'ar v'yit ram v'yit nase v'yit hadar v'yit ala v'yit ala shemir kudsha. Brichu le'ela min kol berchata v'shirata tush berchata v'nechemata damiram be'alma v'imru. Amen. Tikabat zlamon v'ahon de chol yisrael kodam v'ahon di bishmay v'imru. Amen. Yehesh lama rabba min shemaya v'chaim aleinu be'al kol yisrael v'imru. Amen. O say shalom bim romav, hu ya say shalom, aleinu ve'al kol Yisrael bimru. Amen. Page 281. 
Aleinu l'shabeach la'adon ha'kol La'tek g'dula li'otzer b'reshit Shelo asanu k'goye ha'aratzot Velo samanu k'mishpechot ha'adama Shelo sam chelkeinu kahem Vegor aleinu k'chol ha'monam Va'anachnu chorim u'mishacharim u'modim Lifne melech mache hamlachim hakadosh baruchu shachonat hashamayim v'yosar aretz. Kakatu v'toratecha adonayim loch leolam va'er. V'ne'emar v'haya Adonai l'melech al kol ha'aretz v'yom ha'hu v'yom ha'hu hiya Adonai echad u'shemo 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 echad Mourner's Kaddish, Kaddish Atom is found on page 282. Yit Gadal, Vit Kadash, Shame Raba, Vialma, Diverach, Hirute, Vialmlich, Malchute, Vechayechon, Uviomechon, Uchaye, Tocholbet Israel, Baagala, Vizman Kariv, Vimeru, Amen. Yehe, Shme Raba, Mevorach, Leolam, Leome, Omaya, Yit Barach, Vish Tabach, Vit Paar, Vit Romam, Vit Nase, Vit Hadar, Vit Ale, Vit Halal, Shme de Kurisha, Brihu, Leela, Minko, Birhata, Vishirata, Tush Behata, Venechamata, Da Amiran, Beama, Vimeru, Amen. Yehe, Shlama, Rabba, Min Shmaya, Vehaim, Alenu, Veako, Israel, Vimeru, Amen. Ose, Shalom, Vim Romav, Hu Yase, Shalom. Aleinu ve'akho Yisrael v'imeru. Amen. You may be seated. For those that joined our evening minion, that concludes our prayers for the evening. We will take some time now to share some stories and some Torah about Eunice. I just wanted to start by saying on behalf of the clergy, it's difficult. It's hard to show ample gratitude or enough gratitude to a man like Eunice, a pillar of our community, someone who has accomplished so much, someone who has given so much. And so we ask the question, what's the correct way of showing our thanks? And thank goodness the Talmud offers a beautiful story in response to that question. The story goes as follows. A man was traveling throughout the desert, hungry, thirsty, and tired, when he came upon a tree bearing luscious fruit, offering plenty of shade, underneath of which was a spring of water. And so you can imagine the man ate the fruit and drank the water and found comfort beneath the shade. But when the man was about to leave, he turned to the tree and said, Tree, how am I supposed to bless you? With everything you've given me, how do I thank you? Should I bless you that your fruit should be sweet? Your fruit is already sweet. Do I bless you that your shade should be plentiful? Your shade is already plentiful. Do I bless you that you should have a spring of water running beneath you? That already exists. So there is only one thing in which I can bless you. Only one thing in which I can show my gratitude and offer thanks. May it be God's will that all trees planted from your seeds be giving just like you. In other words, the way that we thank Eunice is by emulating that which he has offered this world. We grow by remembering, by remembering his humility, his generosity, his wisdom, his kindness, and his love. And we need only look to his children and grandchildren to see the seeds that he and Sariah have planted and pledge to honor his life and his memory 
by saying that we too will carry out his legacy. And so we thank him this evening by making his memory a series of blessings each and every day of our lives. Amen. It's my honor to introduce one of Eunice's many blessings, his grandson Aaron. In approaching this speech about my grandfather, I struggled to find the combination of words that would do his impeccable character justice. It was with a wave of clarity in parsing through this daunting task that it came to me who my grandfather was, a man of life. We often hear loved ones described as larger than life, but my grandfather was different. He exemplified what life is meant to be. When we meet or greet someone, we ask them, how are you? What do you do for work? Or something surface level among those lines. But when my grandfather would meet or greet a stranger, regardless of their background or perceived status, he abandoned that societal norm that keeps us at a distance, both from one another and from ourselves. He would ask, what is your passion? What makes you happy? What are your dreams? My grandfather set, that t set the tone on that fundamental level of making meaning in every connection, of honoring life by offering this perspective to those whom he met. He taught by example, and throughout my own life, I measure my choices through the eyes of my grandfather, using his esteemed morality as a benchmark. I thank him every day for setting the bar so high, ensuring that I'm always asked, asking if I'm doing enough for my community, for my family, for the strangers I meet, and for my own self. What would Baba do is the legacy that my grandfather left to me, guiding me through every decision, large or small. I am forever blessed to have him as my friend, my mentor, my idol, my Baba. Next, I would like to invite a uh, dear friend of the family, Dr. Jamshin Nagahi. Good afternoon. I have known Eunice Soraya very closely for over 40 years, ever since I met Angela, my wife. Due to his welcoming personality, I got to know Eunice very quickly and soon looked up to him as a role model. When my own father passed away <coughs> 20 years ago, I saw Eunice as a father figure. As you're all here in memory of Eunice, you will have known him well. He was an outstanding man in many ways. While I do not intend to elaborate on his extraordinary achievements as a visionary entrepreneur, businessman, philanthropist, and Zionist, I do want to share a few personal observations and memories that attest to his character. Eunice was extremely personable and developed deep connection to his family, friends, and people who worked for him. As an example, here is one of my fond memories of him. On one of our memorable trips to Israel, he had arranged the bus to take guests to various destinations. The first day he entered the bus, he approached the driver, shook his hand, and said in Hebrew, my name is Eunice. What is your name? Moshe, he replied. Eunice, with an ever-kind voice, replied, 
Thank you, Moshe, for driving us the next three days safely. This was Yunus, relating to people of all backgrounds and stages in life, and I might add, all different ages. On the one hand, Yunus would meet the head, heads of state. On the other hand, he would start a competition among kids in the family to touch their nose with their tongue. As Emerson said, a great man is always willing to be little. In gatherings, he would connect to everybody around him. His positive energy lit up the room, making his presence felt. Soraya shared with me that even after a very stressful time at work, he would come home with a smile and would cheer her up. Every event in life was meaningful to Yunus, and this caring also translated into his personal involvement in the organizations that he and Soraya supported in their philanthropic giving. On another occasion, when we were visiting a Navy base in Elat, one of the seamen thanked him for donating some weight training equipment. He approached the equipment and said that he had chosen it because he himself uses it back home. He proceeded to explain how to take care of the cables and the connections so that it would last a long time. Yunus did not alienate himself by simply writing a check. He clearly expressed his vision and remained involved in the programs that he generously contributed to. Yunus was witty with a great sense of humor. My dad, Yunus, and I spent memorable occasions together telling jokes. About 35 years ago, he told my dad, I'm willing to give up half of my wealth in return for God granting me 10 more years to live. My dad responded in his typical manner, well, don't keep up your hope, Eunice. God has declined much bigger offers. But in reality, God granted him 35 more years to live. When I used to visit, uh, to visit him in my office, he would spend some time exchanging jokes. Three days before he passed, when he did not appear to be responsive, I told him a familiar joke, and he visibly smiled. I will always remember Eunice as a gentle giant, a legend, and a role model of kindness, love of family, and contribution to humanity and Israel by promoting education and culture with his generous donations. Eunice will have a lasting legacy through Soraya, his lovely children, grandchildren, and foundations he has established here in the U.S. and abroad. Angela and I loved him very much and will miss him dearly. Thank you. Next, I would like to invite another dear friend of the family, Mrs. Dora Mosanen. Or Eunice, John. This is how we would address him when we spoke about him among ourselves. Or Eunice, John. Because our Eunice, John, had the rare ability to be entirely present when he was with his friends. So entirely focused on you. You felt seen, valued, special. There was his fetching smile, which continued to light his handsome face even when words failed to express his delight at seeing you. And there was his laughter and his jokes. Ah, his laughter. His laughter at his own jokes was so contagious, so full of joy, 
we couldn't help but join him, laugh uncontrollably, and for a few hours, let go of our daily worries. With a playful twinkle in his eyes and a humility rare for a man in his position, or Eunice John would even laugh when he recounted the hardship he experienced as a young man in Israel. Okay, I'll do this. <laughs> he laughed, and every experience turned into a celebration of the successful and accomplished man he was. There was a time he sold light bulbs to a woman who asked him to come to his garden to change a light bulb. And how he had assured her he was experienced when in reality he was not. And his legs shook so uncontrollably when he climbed the ladder, he wasn't sure he could make it back down. We clicked wine glasses with him and Soraya June over dinner. We said lechaim and we laughed. There was a time he wanted to go with friends to the beach in Tel Aviv and how he had managed with much resourcefulness to borrow a record player so they would have music and dance on the beach. There was the evening his friends came to sleep over and he had to find some makeshift mattresses for them all to sleep on and how in the middle of the night they were startled awake by a rat or two. We laughed even harder. And countless, countless other memories he shared that became ours to cherish as we laughed together. There was his endless generosity. Our Eunice John was generous with his time, with his advice, and with his resources. I remember some years ago on one of my trips to Israel, our Eunice John, who happened to be there, invited me to visit a highly protected military base with him. We were shown around the premises by a couple of high-ranking officers who explained in much detail certain army ta tactics, which to me sounded like classified information. I was impressed and proud and thankful for our Eunice John and his family for the love and support of Eretz Israel. But the moment we left the military base, I told myself I was trusted because I was with our Eunice John. But I better forget all I heard today or I might inadvertently spill out something I shouldn't and forget I did. He was a skilled backgammon player, yes. And most of the time, the dice cooperated with him. But he did not like to lose. That to him, like any failure in his life, was a temporary obstacle to overcome and turn into success with hard work and inventiveness. In these last days when our children and grandchildren reach out to extend their sympathy, I am not surprised but amazed how our Eunice John has succeeded in touching even the lives of our younger generation in so many ways. With his wise advice, kind encouragements, and readiness to listen and help. And it is not possible to remember our Eunice John without mentioning love. His love for his family and for his friends, his love for wine, for art, for music, and for life itself. But most of all, his love for Soraya. For our Eunice John, Soraya was his commander in chief. If he picked up the phone and we would ask if they were available on such and such date or time, he'd always refer us to his commander in chief. Their beautiful life together, the love and commitment 
and Soraya's devotion, especially these last years, taught us so many valuable lessons. We will miss our Eunice John's presence to no end. Miss his elegant suits and shirts, special watches, and his pochettes folded just right. Miss enjoying art and music and good food with him. We will miss his laughter and love and his wise words. And we will miss observing life through the optimistic lenses he always wore. But this is not a goodbye. It is a celebration of Eunice John, whose legacy will live forever in Israel, around the world, and in our own community. But most of all, in Soraya John, in David, Shulamit, Sharon, Sam, Angela, and Amina, in his grandchildren, great-grandchildren, and in his extended family, who each carried a part of our units, John, in them. I'm going to ask everyone to please rise to recite with me the ancient words of comfort. Hamakom yinachem erchem betoch she'ar of Aleit Zion v'Yerushalayim. May God comfort you together with all mourners of Zion and Jerusalem, and let us say, Amen. Please be seated. I uh, wanted to thank everyone for coming. Um, the family is inviting everyone next door to Ziegler Hall for hamotzi and refreshments. 